Hey, what's up guys? BQ Aggie back again to bring you a video. Um, let me go ahead and show the camera here. As you can see, I've got quite a few packages in the mail. Uh, a lot of things that I need to go through with a mail day video, and I will actually do that here momentarily. But what I want to do for you guys, um, if you haven't heard already, we actually had to ban somebody on CNC. And I'm not here to call anybody out or, you know, um, bash the guy any further. But a lot of people have questioned why we ended up banning him, um, so on and so forth. And, of course, he has a lot of outstanding trades that are actually still out. Um, please understand that, you know, it was something that had to be done uh, simply because you know, he's overextended himself in trades. And, um, you know, we've had a lot of complaints regarding shipping practices and things like that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and prove to you one of the reasons why we've had so much uh, so many problems with him because it's actually happened to me okay so this is my video showing that it actually happened to me as a mod so it's something that we cannot and can no longer tolerate um, but anyway uh, here is our original trade and um, you can see right here that's who it is okay Trade between BQ Aggie and the Razor's Edge, uh, formerly Cujo 31 Collector. Everybody knows him. I know he has a, a long reputation of over 120 positive, you know, trades. But just because he had a great trade feedback number doesn't mean that he was a perfect trader. Trust me, I personally have had to deal with numerous issues. Anyway, uh, here we go. You can see, hopefully, that the trade was done Saturday, March 5th. 2011 at 11:30 p.m. Well, 11:24. All right, that's when it was posted, Saturday, March 5th. Okay, here is the package that I received today, and let's see if we can make it out. Look at the shipping date, March 26th, 2011. March 26th versus March 5th. That is exactly 21 days, seven days in a week. That is three weeks after I have received a package. Um, now, he has received mine. Uh, he didn't post in here whenever he, it was he received them, but I know that he has gotten them because he did PM me, uh, which, I've, you know, which I deleted, but he did receive mine. So anyway, March 5th versus March 26th. There we go. Three weeks. Now, I went ahead and opened it, but before I go any further, let me go ahead and show you this. Okay. I haven't even opened the packages yet, but you can see that I have cup cards in here. All right. Everything is still sealed. I don't know if you can see it, but they're actually not even in card cases. They're wedged between two thin top loaders all right taped in there they're not even in top loaders or cases themselves they're wedged between two top loaders and then get this obviously you guys know that sabrina my wife collects marty turco i got this for her this is part of a trade for her same nonsense cards that are packaged between two top loaders and that are just wrapped and taped in a baggie. Excuse me for saying, but that's bullshit. It is friggin' bullshit. So let me go ahead and open up this pouch and see where we stand. One of the cards in here is an ice scripts, and those are obviously written on acetate, so I sincerely hope that the, the, the autograph is not scratched. Look at that taped and in between two top loaders so let's go This type of shipping practice will get you booted from any community. I don't give a damn what commu trading community you you trade in. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. I'm just upset. 
All right, well, luckily they are in their own plastic um, penny sleeves. But, let's see. Nothing wrong with that one. So Sabrina will be happy with this Marty Turco penmanship from OPG Premier. So, great looking card for Sabrina. And, dirty ass top loader, or penny sleeve. Marty Turco Ice Scripts. Seems to be okay. And then he threw in some, I guess, freebie cards. Yay. Aaron Latang, Richard Jackman. Okay. Uh, Mike Madano, Marty Turco, two on two jerseys. Yetta Letnin and Sergei Zubov. So that was a freebie. So thanks, I guess. Moving on to the second part of the trade. And again, I see that I'm almost hitting six minutes. I apologize, but you guys need to watch this. All right. Here's the second package. Two cup cards. I don't care if they're just base cards. I wanted them. I traded for them. I care about them. Obviously, somebody else doesn't. So here we go. And I know I said at the beginning of the video I'm not here to call anybody out, but you know what? I'm changing my tune. This pisses me off. Now you see why we had to boot them. Oh my, come on. Seriously? There we go. Yeah, just between two top loaders. So, as you can see, Gordy Howe, cup base for my Gordy Howe PC. Decent condition. That's fine. And an Anjay Kopitar cup base. Mmm. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little ridge up there. I don't know if that's manufacturer or if that was due to packaging. Oh, screw it. But, um, I mean, look at that. Just throw it in a penny sleeve that's all crap, why don't you? So, at least the cards are okay. Are okay. Um, you know, it is what it is, but that's the shipping practice. And again... I cannot stress this enough. March 5th, March 26th, three weeks, and I'm not only a mod, but I'm not on any must-send first trader lists. So, again, I apologize. You guys know me better than that. I'm not normally um, someone that calls people out, but if you had a question as to why we ended up banning this gentleman, there's... The majority of the answers right there. Um, I will be back again with uh, a more up tempo and more positive um, mail day video, but that's it from my end. Again, that is my trade with the Razor's Edge, formerly Cujo 31 collector. Um, you know, yeah, he was a good user as far as his trade and feedback was concerned, but that by no means ever says that he was. A perfect trader. Uh, he overextended himself so much that um, sometimes he forgot to send things out because he didn't even realize that he dealt with people. So, again, I'm probably saying too much. I'm giving away too much information. So, on that note, I'll shut up. Thanks as always for tuning in. Um, please, anyone out there watching this, don't let this hinder your trading, your online trading reputation. Uh, there are good traders out there. Ask around ask me, ask any one of our helpful moderators on CNC. Uh, we pretty much know the business. So um, that's it from my end. You guys take care. Have yourselves a, a great day. Um, go out support your local card shop. Please go check out clutesandchard.com. And we will see you guys, as always, on the flip side. Take care.